folks here I come to you here from uh, Intramuros which is a, a fort in Manila in Philippines I've been uh, invited here over the past few days for a presentation and endodontics and through the ESP which is the Endodontic Society of Philippines I had a wonderful time it's been such a great place to be here in Philippines and also the, the, just the amazing hospitality of uh, the past president, uh, Dr. Ness, and the current president, uh, Dr. Grace Day, and so on, and everybody else uh, who's helped to organize this. I had a great time. It was particularly quite an honor to first listen to Dr. Sam Dorn and Stefan Zweig, who are uh, past presidents of the AAE, present, and then uh, kind of spent some time with them. Uh, you know, such great academics and uh, learned a lot from them. We're currently in a little tour doing a tour of some of the World War II history that took place in the, this part of the world uh, and the Intramuros' uh, historical presence here in terms of the Spanish and then the Americans and the Japanese occupation of uh, this country. But uh, anyway, besides the history here, I want to also talk to you guys a little bit about the topic that I covered in the lecture presentation. I've made a video about this before, but I think it's just uh, it's worth discussing it again. And it's about the difference between using the bioceramics to inject directly inside the root canal versus merely applying it to a file and placing it in the canal. Uh, now you guys know how I feel about calling the technique hydraulic condensation versus single cone because I do believe that you do need to use additional cones where you have canals that are oval in order to fill in those spaces. Since I've seen so many cases where you know people by injecting directly have caused overfills, uh, I wanted to re-emphasize the importance of just applying the sealer to a paper pad and then placing it in the canal using a file or you could use a lentula at a low speed like 3 to uh, 500 RPM or a, any kind of a regular nitire file a couple sizes smaller in a reverse direction to just apply it to the canal walls and then coat your gutta percha cone and place it in. And I did a difference comparison between doing it that way and using directly injecting into the canal. In smaller canals, it really the difference is insignificant. So you need to kind of make sure that you do it the way that is the safest for your patient, especially in vital areas. You could use it this way instead of injecting directly where the odds of overfilling is greater. And the way I differentiate whether you should be using what I call the basic technique, which is the application of the sealer to a paper pad and just placing it in the canal in the traditional ways, versus the advanced method, which is the direct injection into the root canal, is by a simple distinction whether you use a microscope or not. If you use a microscope, you'll have a better chance of being able to see how much you're injecting. So uh, use the advanced technique. But if you don't have a microscope and you're just relying on loops and other things, use the basic technique for hydraulic condensation, which is to apply the sealer to the canal um, um, using a file that's much safer. So I wanted to emphasize that since I've seen over time many uh, overfills and people having had issues with these types of things that are injecting directly. And I want to say that the main point here is never always bleed the uh, the sealer out the uh, you know out the tip whatever tip you're using before you place it into the canal never fill more than the upper half of the canal and then push it down with a file uh, and uh, never lock the needle in there and lastly if you're not using a microscope in order to be able to see and monitor all of the stuff that you're doing make sure that you are using the basic technique for applying the bioceramic for use of hydraulic condensation. And that's the way you can maximize your safety and prevent any of these kind of procedural accidents that can happen if you're not careful and uh, you don't have the right tools. All right, guys, that's it. And coming from the, uh, <laughs> like 100 degrees with the humidity uh, here in the, on top of the Intramuros, which is a beautiful little monument, historical monument. And I'm uh, going to um, go back and follow the the rest of the trip, people have been incredibly nice and kind, and uh, we've been having dinners, and the hospitality has been just uh, through the roof here with the ESP and all of the delegates and all of the uh, organizers. So I want to thank them again for uh, this opportunity, and I look forward to seeing you guys uh, somewhere in the, you know, in the world at a different conference and meet you in person. And until then, I'm Ali Nassi, and let's save something.